this is Laura. I am coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul. Some great new stuff I found at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna just jump on in today because I have quite a bit of stuff. But before we do, if you are new here, I really would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and you will be notified every time I upload a video. And if you're a regular here, thank you for coming back, spending time with me. I appreciate you. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start with this bag of Bath and Beauty. It's kind of random, guys. I try to separate it as much as I could, but there might be an oddball item here and there. Okay, guys, we are gonna start with the socks. They had a great variety of socks at the Dollar Tree. It seems like they've been increasing their inventory. I'm gonna go one by one with y'all with these Juncture Women's Athletic two pair size five to nine. And look at the quality, look at the style, the teal color, the yellow, and these have a really nice thickness to them. It seems like they're really, really good quality. Now they do have some that are pretty cheap and thin that I wouldn't recommend, but these were pretty nice. Now these on the other hand, these are women's five to nine. They are juncture two pair, and look at how cute these are. And look at the polka dots. Now these are a bit thinner than the other ones. They still are, are not as the thinnest ones they have, but they are thinner. But these are good for around the house. If you sleep in socks, these are perfect. They're not too thick. I think the best quality that I saw are these bomb socks. They are men's two pair and they're calling them liners. Now I do believe these are the no-shows and you get two pair, you get the gray and you get the white. And these are nice quality. So it's back to school time. You do have options at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you'll have to check which one has the best. So these are pretty good for a dollar. I did find some new shavers. I picked up these three. Now this one is a new one for me. It's the Assured Brand Women's System Razor. You get one razor and three blades for one dollar. I couldn't even believe that. If you, pot, if you try to pick up a set like this at the grocery store, you're gonna pay five or six dollars for it. I don't know how well they work because I haven't tried them, but if you've tried them, let us know in the comments if, if they're good. I'm gonna give this a try and let y'all know it in a later video. And then I did pick up the Pure Silk, the Contour 6 Double Flex Head. One razor and it, it is a six blade razor. And I think these are pretty good. The Pure Silk brand is a pretty nice brand. And then I also found the Gillette Simply Venus. You get two blades and you get three razors. So what a great product. Three for a dollar, you can't go wrong with that. These make great donation items for your local shelters, homeless communities, where you can make blessing bags. This is a great value to break them up and put them into blessing bags, really good product. And they're all name brand, that's what I really liked about it. And then I did pick up the Secret 1.5 ounce Powder Fresh 24 hour antiperspirant. I picked up two of these, I always pick them up there. They're great smaller sizes for traveling, or, or if you just like to keep them fresh, I like to just keep them fresh, finish them, and get the next one. I don't like to buy the large ones. And then I had seen a lot of women hauling these and I could not find them. Finally, I found them. Eyebrow Scissors by Sassy and Chic. Check that out, pretty cool. I have purchased some of these at my local beauty supply store and they were not $1, I can tell you that. What a great product. Now, I will check them out and see how well they work. I'm not sure of the quality of these. Okay, I picked up some of the Goody, which is a name brand, the Ouchless for Thick Hair Economy Pack. You get 10 pieces of these very large elastics. I have heard that these are very good quality, so I did pick some up. They are gonna be going in some stocking stuffers. I have some nieces with some very thick hair, so they're gonna be getting some of these. And the last product I found, which is very interesting, it is by the Assured brand for men, and these are face wipes. You get 30 wipes, and look at that. Now, I have a brother who works outside. I'm gonna tell him to try these out and see what he thinks about them, but what a great product to freshen up during the day when you're out working, you can't 
don't have access to water or anything like that, these would be great to throw in your vehicle. So I'm gonna tell him to give him a try and see what he thinks. Moving on to the food and snacks, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, some repurchases, but I did find some new things. Okay, the first thing that I found that was new to my Dollar Tree are these George and Tom's 12, they're calling them cake cups, but they're ice cream, they're cones for ice cream. The last time I did find some sugar cones, but I did not find these, but I thought that was a pretty good price for $1. You get 1.75 ounces. I know in the store you're gonna pay approximately $3 a box, so that's a pretty good deal. And the sugar cones were really good, so I'm pretty sure these are gonna be nice and fresh as well. I don't think this is new to the Dollar Tree, the Russell Stover's Pecan Delight Bars. These are very good, caramel, pecan, and chocolate. I pick these up every once in a while. This is a bar. Normally in the store you get like three little pieces like this, but this is a bar, one whole piece. And these are really, really good. A new item that I found, you do normally see the flips in the pretzel in the bags. Now, it, normally it's a whole pretzel covered in chocolate and they have them in white chocolate and dark and milk chocolate. But now they have them in a bar. And I did notice that they are in three little pieces. So you have them here like this and you get 1.5 ounces. So I do love them, the pretzels that come in the bag, but I'm sure these are gonna be fabulous. I mean, who can go wrong with pretzels and chocolate? Okay, and then I just repurchased some of these very cherry bubble gums. I love these bubble gums. And on the bubble gum theme, I did find some new double bubble home run bubble gum. Look at that. These are individually wrapped. They're red, white, and blue. And they do have, I don't know if you can see it right there, a baseball theme. These would be great to have for a party, for a birthday party, where you can individually put them in, in uh, goodie bags for the kids. I think that's a great product, especially now that we need things really individually wrapped for a lot of things. So I really think this would be a good pickup for birthday parties. Okay, and then I have an item here that didn't quite make it home. These are the Kool-Aid gummies. We have three flavors, tropical punch, cherry, and grape. And as you can see, it's an empty bag. I guess I was hungry the day I went to the Dollar Tree. I tried them and they are so good. So give them a try, the kids are gonna love them. I did pick up three of these red vines, okay? I picked up the original, I picked up the Twizzlers, and then I picked up the Switzers apple. These are cherry, these are green apple, and these are just the red. I don't see the flavor. Now, I did try the apple. I am not a fan. I know they are very popular. A lot of people haul them and I am not a fan of these, but I don't know, everybody's different. I haven't tried the cherry, but I'm sure you can let us know in the comments if you like them. Now, these are the originals that have been around since the 1950s, so I thought I'd give them a try. I have never tried these. And I repurchased the Hershey's with almonds. Y'all know I love these. If you've been around with me for a little while, you know they come in and out of my hauls. There's not a whole bunch to say about these. They are so good. I did pick up uh, the Sour Jacks. I'm pretty sure I have all these before. They are cherry, lemonade, orange, strawberry, and lime. These are very good. They do say extreme sour, but they're not that bad. They have a really good combination of sweet and sour. So these are very good. I picked up two packages of the Lipton Iced Tea Southern Sweet Tea. These are very good. I'm always picking them up. They are in and out of our Dollar Trees. So when I do see them, I pick them up because I really enjoy this tea. And it makes one quart and easy to make. Just drop it in, add your water, stir it up, keep it in the refrigerator. It's good. Okay, a repurchase. Okay, these are the nacho cheese bugles. I have picked these up before. There's not really much to say. They are just good. And I did pick up another bag of the veggie chips. These are sea salted and they are 2.75 ounces. These are so tasty, guys. If you have not given these a try, give them a try. I think you really would enjoy them. The last repurchase for, for the food and snacks are these Special K. They are Special K pastry crisps in strawberry. Now, you do get four to the package. I thought that was a very good deal, and you get two little bars per package. If these are also a very tasty product. I really enjoy these. Now, they are hard to find, 
It took me uh, since one of my last hauls, I don't know, six or seven hauls ago, that I found them, and I just now found them again, so I picked up two. They are really delicious. Now, back to school time, throw these in their backpacks and their lunch boxes. They're really good. It is a name brand special. Okay, a new product that I found, these Wisps Cheese Crisp Parmesan Cheese Crisp, 100 calories, and you get 0 0.63 ounces. Not too many, but I thought that's an interesting product. I don't know if that's a snack item. Throw it in your salad. If you have tried it, let us know in the comments. I really would like to know about this. So I'm gonna give these a try before this video goes up and I will let y'all know if I like them. Okay, another new product that I found is this Soap Bisque Six Two Packs Thin Shortbread Dark Chocolate Cream European Style Cookies. Boy, that's a lot. Now this is a product of India. And it looks like a sandwich shortbread cookie. I have not tried them. This is the first time seeing them in my store. So I'm going to see what they, uh, what I think about them. I'm going to open them so we can check them out. They are nice and sealed with a seal. So I really like that when products are sealed like this. Especially nowadays. So they come like this. Individually wrapped a great item for lunch boxes once again. So we're gonna give it a try and let you know. Another cookie, a sandwich chocolate and vanilla sandwich cookie. This is totally new to my Dollar Tree. I've never seen them. This is a product of Mexico. It is a product of Mexico and they are distributed by, they are distributed from Arlington, Texas. So home state distribution. We're gonna give these a try. They look like they would be very good. And you get 7.05 ounces. Great size for a dollar. Really great size. And the last item in the food section that I found, something very interesting, caught my attention right away, was this bourbon coffee, peppercorn, and sea salt spice grinder. What an interesting product. Look at that. So I have not tried it. It states on here that it's that it's great for beef, chicken, and pork. We're gonna have to give this a try and I will let y'all know. It does sound like it would be interesting. I hear a lot of people use ground coffee as a seasoning agent for meat. I have never tried it, but we're gonna give this a try and see what I think. Okay guys, we are back with the home decor, bath area, kind of just jumping in and out of it. So I did find some more of the microfiber washcloths, guys. I've been using them already, the ones I hauled before, they are wonderful. I really like them and they wash up really good in the washing machine. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. They did have them in, in white, gray, black, and t uh, like a teal blue color. Uh, that's all the colors I have seen at my Dollar Tree, but they are fabulous. So I went to pick up four more packs, they are great. Okay, now I did see Catherine from Do It On A Dime raving about this little nightlight, uh, this LED automatic nightlight. Great for bathrooms, bedrooms, hallways, and more. They are getting excellent reviews online. I thought I'd give this a try, maybe put it out in my in my hallway or in my living room somewhere. Like I said, they're getting very good reviews, so I'm gonna have to get me a couple more of these a little bit at a time, so give them a try. Okay, in the candle section, you all know I love my candles, but we are heading towards the holiday season. I do like to decorate my home. I love to have the candlelight effect. So I picked up six of these candles. These are in the LED pillar candles. It says it has 120 hours on the battery. And of course, always make sure that your little paper is in there where the battery is not running, okay? So it doesn't waste your battery. So I picked up six of these. I always try to get one or two when I see them. They are great, the effects are great and you don't have to worry about leaving candles on. That's my main worry about, you know, putting on the mantle. I love the effect for the holiday. This little one item that I found, a Voidive with a black holder here, which is gonna be right my, up my alley for aesthetics with my new decoration after my remodel. Problem is I only found one. I've been on the lookout for a few more. I have not been able to find them. They look like if this is wrought iron, and then the voided glass is kind of big. You know, there's my hand for reference, and I just thought that it was so cute. I don't know if you can see the bottom, but I thought it was really cute. I can just see three of these together on the mantle, on the dining room table, as a centerpiece with some other items. I think these are gonna make 
a really cute product. Now I just need to find some more. I found a sharpening stone, which I have had in the past, but my stuff is all packed up and my knife needed a sharpening, so I picked it up, but guess what? I dropped it on the way in the house and it broke in half, but that's okay, I can still use it. So these for a dollar, that's a good price. That's a good thing to buy and have around. Okay, one more doggy toy is this here. Very, very sturdy, great for your crazy little dogs. They like to tear things up. Uh, my niece has a little bully and we're gonna give her this. I'm pretty sure she's gonna enjoy it. Okay, now the item of the day that I found in the kitchen section are these pie plates. I picked up four of them. They did have a whole bunch. It is just a regular pie plate with the handles, but this pie plate has its own lid. Now look at that. Now I normally pick up my baking uh, stuff that I give away for the holidays. I pick it up on Amazon, but I have never seen these in this size with the lid for one dollar. So I picked them up. I picked up four, and I will definitely pick up more because I do bake a lot of pies for the holidays. And boy, it what a convenient item to have with the lid. And let me tell you guys, these are not cheaply made. They are nice and thick. They are not like the ones that we normally see at the Dollar Tree. And I don't know, it says made in the USA. It is by Jiffy Foil. So it is a great product. I was thrilled to find these. Okay guys, we are just about at the end of this haul. Thank you for sticking around this far if you did. And by the way, if you're one of the people that always gives my videos thumbs up, I really want to thank you for that. It really helps my channel a whole bunch. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Okay guys, I finally found the black plates that I was looking for. They are normally around. You just have to kind of look at different stores. So now I have my marble ones and the black ones that are going to go real nice with my new dinette table. So I was real happy to find the dinner plates in black. In the birthday section, I didn't pick up too much stuff because they really did not. I couldn't find any new things. I did find this table centerpiece for a birthday with a rocket. I thought this was pretty nice. It could be on for a buffet table as centerpiece. And I thought that was pretty nice for a little boy or even a little girl. They like the space stuff. I think this would be really nice. And it is, it does not give me the size of the actual rocket. So I'm gonna have to actually take it out and measure it and I'll try to leave it here if I remember the size of it. The only bows that I found were the blue ones. I did find these in a previous haul in different colors, but they didn't have the blue. I finally found the blue. I really like this color. It's really, really nice. And I just love the variety of bows. I did find some more laser cutouts, the craft words. I found in memory and celebrate. It seems like these are going to be a staple at the Dollar Trees because I have seen them pretty much every time I go. It's just different words that I see. And I didn't have these, so I thought I'd pick them up while they're there. In the car section or the tool bench section, I do pick up the foam brushes. I don't pick them up from the Crafter Square because it is a much smaller product. These you get eight. I think the other ones you get six. So, and you get the larger ones. As you can see in the back, it's about a four inch brush and you get a variety of the other sizes. Pick these up in the tool bench section. It's a better buy for the book. What they are calling an e-circuit wide angle smartphone lens. It clips on your phone, easy to use, works with most smartphones. So I'm gonna have to give this a try. I am not sure how this works, but I would be very interested to know. Most smartphones have wide angle lenses anyway. But for some that don't, I mean for a dollar, if this works, that's a great thing. And also in that section, I found a phone ring with the strap. I thought this was pretty cute. I'm going to see if we can see the design. And it does attach to your phone with the gold little plate here, and then you just grab it with this. I'm not sure if I would trust my iPhone on this, but we're going to see if it works. I did find a one hair clip that I haven't seen before at my Dollar Tree's. And it was this one with some little gemstones, amber color. I thought that was very pretty. Good stocking stuffer, an add-on to a gift. 
really cute for one dollar. Okay, and as I walk around the store, I'm always paying attention to the little clear strips that are all over the store by your registers. Always keep your eyes open what's there. I did find two new pads. This one, it's a good day to be happy. I hear that. And courage above fear, always. So these are pretty nice, guys. They do have the magnet for the refrigerator on the back. You get 60 sheets. These are pretty nice. Okay, we're almost at the end, guys. Crafter Square never disappoints. You just have to be on the lookout. Keep your eyes open. Be patient sometimes. I did find the 11 by 14 canvases, guys, for $1. Now, these are a great staple to have in your craft room. You can do so many things with these. Great to have for the kids for when they're on vacation to do drawings. I mean, just really fun. You can create a party and have everybody come over and draw something, have a, a, a wine and paint or something like that. I think that would be very fun. And for a $1 canvas, 11 by 14, I think that's fabulous. I mean, you cannot go wrong. If you are a painter, I'm sure you know these are very expensive at Hobby Lobby or, or Michael's. They did have a whole bunch of these, but I just picked up three because I thought that would be enough for me. Great product to have. I did finally find the Ink Optimus pens again in different colors. This one is a teal and a lime green. This is red and orange. I love these pens. They have a very fine tip. I have the pink and the lavender or purple. I love them. They, I love the way they write. I love how we can just use them in journaling on our calendars. If you like to color coordinate things, they're fabulous. So if you find them, pick them up. They are going fast because I had a hard time finding them. Finally, the last product of this haul, guys. Thank you for sticking around this long. I think you're going to enjoy this last product if you have kids or even as a product for your kitchen somewhere. These are instant chalkboards. Turn any surface into a chalkboard. These are a peel and stick and you get four of them, seven inches by 10 inches. I am gonna insert here somewhere a picture of me putting it up on the wall. It does say that the chalk is included. You get four colored chalks. This would be a great product to have in your command center on by your office, or reminders for the kids. To don't forget your backpack, your lunch bags, stuff like that out by the garage. I mean, Dollar Tree, what are you doing to us? Fabulous, fabulous product. And if you have any ideas on how else to use this, let us know in the comments below. I'm sure people would appreciate that. Okay, guys, that is the end. That concludes the video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed the content today, don't forget, thumbs up. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. I will see you on the next one. Bye.